What's going on, everybody? So I had that card show this past weekend. I've been meaning to do a video on it. I was going through some of the footage I got, and you could tell where I'm, like, rushed because somebody is at my table. And I even got there early was the funny part. And as soon as I was set up, like, it was nonstop action between the Tatis 101 logo, man, which did sell. Uh, the Herbert PSA 10, my other Herbert RPA, PSA 9, the Acuna Auto. A bunch of other cars were just drawing a lot of uh, attention. Uh, a lot of people view the channel, stopped by too, so it was nice meeting everybody that stopped by. Uh, I think here. But yeah, I mean, it was busy. I was trying to, right after about lunchtime, go around, and half the dealers already packed up and left. So I really didn't get much to, when I was going around, I didn't think you guys wanted to see retail wax and retail cards and stuff like that, so I kind of stopped. A lot of people were bringing cards out to sell. I did pick some of those up. I'll show you that at the end. And don't mind this stuff. This stuff here is like going on uh, Saturday night's auction. I was pull and fix sale stuff. I was pulling stuff out. It's for a separate video. As you can see, it's just been very, very busy week right now. Already starting. We're only on. Today's Tuesday with me taping this. I think this will come out tomorrow on Wednesday. So um, let me go ahead and cut real quick. You guys will see a real short clip. I do apologize. I was hoping to get more, uh, I guess you could say, video footage of it. But like I said, I just had people keep coming back to the table uh, between, you know, purchase and wax or whatever it may be. So... I think next time I may try to find somebody to uh, sit at my table, maybe for 15, 20 minutes while I go around and, you know, do something offhand. Because I am always worried somebody's going to, you know, slip their hand behind and grab one of the cards out, even though I usually put the lids down. But all right, let me get to that footage and I'll be right back.
Alrighty, so you guys see somebody brought me a Jordan rookie. Uh, they wanted 5000 for it. I didn't really comp it at the time frame because I'm just not in the market for a Jordan rookie. And to find out, last sell on one with the same exact subgrades was thirty seven fifty, if I do recall right. So some stuff there was overpriced at the show, I will tell you that. You know, some people would really work on you with deals and pricing. You know, some of the stuff's fair when you start looking at pop counts and serial numbers, so I really didn't ever try to argue it. Probably the biggest thing that I've had when people always tell me, well, you're going to lose 13% to eBay, and I'm like, well, you have to pay 6% sales tax, you know. And, you know, just the normal stuff of, you know, trying to figure out, every, you know, the seller wants to get the greatest deal every time, and the, or I'm sorry, the buyer wants to get the best deal all the time, and the seller wants to get the most money for it, you know. I mean, some of the cards I had pop ones and are already low counted, you know, serial number card. There's just not much I'm going to move on to some stuff. But let me show you some of the stuff I did pick up here. Cal Kuzma. And this is out of 25. Found one out of 49, sold for like 60 bucks. Basically, I got that in a stack of these Jordans for the price of the Kuzma. So this this will end up going... Uh, Saturday nights, so you do get to see one little preview. So picked up uh, some of these Jordans too. This is the Air 23, and one day they'll go to PSA to grade out. I already have these mostly in nines. I might have a couple eights. I, I may even have some tens. Um, I just grabbed them because they look pretty good in condition, just by quick looks. The old Nemesis. I believe this is a double back card. Yep. So you got more on the back. Dumars and Jordan. I always like these cards. I mean, really flashy. This is when foil start, first started really appealing to me. was around this time frame. Well, it might have been a year or two earlier, too. But, you know, th this one here is 95, 96. Then you got the old Superman Jordan there from Skybox Z. Profiles, Jordan and Robinson. Let's make sure there's nothing on the back. The old Air Academy Jordan. Let me just get the focus back. Sorry, guys. There we go. Really nice looking clean card. I mean, it's off to me left and right, but we'll see what happens. Another Metal Shredders. That's from Fleer Metal. I think this might have been the most expensive one out of the stack. I think these raw were $40. Bucks. I'll have to see. Let me see what's this back here. That might have been the most expensive one out of them all. And then these all came in a different deal. So that was all with the Kuzma, those there. I take it back. Those were all the Kuzma. So this finishers I got off of the guy running the show still has the coating on it, which is real big to me. I was always a fan of these jerseys, the black jerseys for the Bulls. So give that a shot. Higher power. These were like one of my favorite cards. I have yet to get one in a 10. And I'm one that people would prefer to grade it myself. But when I look at this, look at the top now. I must not have noticed this when I was doing it. A little bit of whiting up there, so. Eh, maybe it'll go in the store. Then, two flares. One with the old 45, one with the 23 onto it. Pretty cool stuff. Like I said, more just for my Jordan collection. This one here. I actually got schooled on this one. There's actually two different versions of this card. Um, they're both not numbered CH4, of course. This is a different version, which I wasn't even tracking, because if you look these up on um, eBay, you'll see he's in a different position on most of the other ones. I don't know if this was more like SP or something like that, but nine on it. I mean, a buddy of mine had it and couldn't really say no to it offhand. Really nice card. Again, you're starting to play with these foils on the back, and they were always a pain with the McDonald's wanting to be on the back with like how the cut was on a logo. So pretty cool offhand with everything picked up. Very happy. I mean, this is the time now for me to actually pick up Jordan stuff for my collection, and I've been picking stuff up all along the way in Fuegos. I, I just noticed in my video, too, I was like, how did I miss that in Fuego? And there was something else in the video, too, because I should have picked them up. So, Scott, if you're having to watch this, put in Fuego away from me. I'll pick it up from you. All right, let me put those down. So, overall, pretty good. I mean, I just was going through stuff, and forgot to pick this up before the show. 
So that'll end up going with all my other Jordan stuff once it comes, you know, once we get some kind of reasonable pricing because my stuff's all a PSA just for it because of the Jordan collection. By no means am I anywhere top on that list <laughs> because I am so far behind on collecting, when, especially with the surge when they come out with all the prices going. Stupid crazy, stupid crazy. Because we start off with the uh, Dynasty Bulls uh, series and then everything just starts shooting up more and more. All right, everybody. Um, I will try to do better. at the. I'm going to try to go to a card show on the 25th. I will not be set up. So I will be able to get better footage. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go down to Nashville. Or there's another show in Louisville with somebody that runs the Indy uh, card show. He's supposed to have 120 tables available. I may just pop in there and walk around and see what's up there. Because especially if a lot of the dealers that were normally these shows are going down to Louisville or down to Nashville. He said he's bringing people down from around Indy and down. So... It might be pretty good because I know the Nashville show usually has a long wait list to get on to it. We'll see what happens, though. I'll probably pop up to it. I'll definitely have way better video footage like some of the other ones where I walked around in and wasn't set up at. I had to clean up some of my stuff because I did try to have my camera going to watch my stands. But then I noticed the tripod I bought was not big enough. I don't know how I missed that. I must have clicked the wrong size or something. But, yeah, it happens. You know how it is. All right, everybody. Take care. Have a good rest of the week, and I'll catch you all next video.